Hey guys, what's up? I hope you had a very Merry Christmas this year and have a great New Year. Um, I'm hoping to have a great New Year. I'm hoping to have a good year this year. Uh, last year was the hard, a little bit hard to get through, but um, you guys have made it easier. And a good example, this is Crafty Hack. Uh, my computer was down. Uh, I've been having some issues with it, uh, continuing on past what was going on, but uh, my water cooler broke, and so... Um, had some issues needing to get that cold back down again and so uh crafty reached out and he said i got a h100 just sitting around doing nothing and he sent it to me it's not the quietest cooler so if you guys can hear it through the microphone in the background i apologize but you know it's a uh, necessary evil for right now um but yeah i want to send a little bit of uh, love and thanks to crafty for helping me out with that all right so this is a video I've been wanting to do for some time now. This is the uh, footage of PDX land from back in the beginning of the last November. So this has been some time coming and I've actually done this video twice already and I'm always somebody that's like really hard on myself and had a hard time just kind of putting it together. So I figured what I'm going to do is I'll just put a collage together, talk a little bit about it and then we'll just call it done and that way I can get it out of here and, you know, and, and call it done for that. So first of all, I want to thank uh, Josh over at Fractal Design. I'll put the thing logo up here somewhere. I'll have links to the uh, website and stuff down below. I'll actually have links to the um, case I used for PDX Lance, a uh, Core 500, and there should also be like a thing, you know, like pointing out like the actual build process and whatnot. So I like going to these events an awful lot because one of the major reasons for me is I am not somebody that easily makes friends. Um, I'm not somebody that feels, and I'm sure a lot of you guys are this way too, probably a lot of you guys watch the channel. I don't connect with people very well. And when I go to these events, because it's about gaming, because it's about computers, a little bit of technology and stuff, I connect instantly. That's kind of like where I go to sometimes. And almost to the point where people have almost thought I was like autistic, because it's like pretty much the only thing I'm kind of like laser focused on a lot of times. And yeah, so like when I go to these events, I like meeting the people. I'm like hanging out with uh, the people there and whatnot. And it means the world to me because now after doing this for like over a year, I'm getting to meet some of the people that uh, talk to you. Like Joe ran into that recently at uh, TwitchCon. He actually met somebody that watches our podcasts. And that's just, it's really odd for to have that already with a channel it's just starting out. So um, yeah, it means a lot to meet you guys. And this is a cool experience. The other reason is obviously the PCs. People build some pretty immaculate, awesome PCs to show off and stuff. And I like PCs because you can see a lot of a person's personality in the way they put the machine together. There's a difference between a PC that's being built to just present or something like that compared to a PC that's like, they put so much work into it. And it might not, and some of them are probably not the prettiest thing to you or whatnot, but it's unique. Uh, sometimes you'll see machines are kind of chaotic because that's a person's personality or something like that. And some people just like making things that nobody else has. They want to make it theirs. And so I really like that. So I'm going to show you guys some footage and then we'll get back into ending this video. All right, guys, I am here at uh, Holiday Inn at PDX. Uh, this is my room. We'll take a quick walk around. There's not much to really show here, but it's a pretty nice place. And the event is literally right across the parking lot down there. I'll show you guys. Uh, I wanted to make a video this morning and didn't get around to it because we were just rushing to get everything done and whatnot. So uh, this morning I was just like rushing, rushing. And I maybe got like 30 minutes to watch an episode of Gotham or something. But okay, I got the low light on now so you guys can see everything better. But yeah, this is the uh, basic layout here. And it's actually a pretty good sizey room. Got a hell of a better window than last year. So that's cool. I can actually see the mountain in the distance and whatnot. You can see it there. And this long building is actually pretty much just that part right there is the convention center, which we, uh, I don't remember being in that part, but we were definitely in that part down there. So yeah, this is it. It's uh, currently 5.30. People are already starting to walk over and register and stuff like that. 
Uh, I'm probably going to freshen up a little bit. Yeah, so um, tonight I'll be trying to shoot some more of uh, what's going on around here. And I'll just be constantly recording this weekend, trying to get a little snippets here and there of stuff going on. Uh, we just got back. We had a good dinner. Um, pretty much all derp squads here. So I'm currently getting in the elevator to head down to the main floor to walk over to PDX. So uh, what do you say we go check that shit out? All right, so this is where the event's being held. Got my last bits. Got to have my Mountain Dew. Let's go check it out. Hi. Hi. This is the fractal table. <laughs> Fuck you, Max. <laughs> Thanks. No problem. There we go. I gotta get the edge up in here. There we go. Oh, uh, look at that porn. You're not gonna hear it. I guess you are gonna hear it. I don't do it slow, I do it fast. You do it fast? Yeah, that's pretty much how I do. That was kind of unsatisfying. That's, I hear that a lot. Yeah. Hey guys, what's up? Um, so I just woke up. It's Saturday. Um, last night, basically, everybody just set everything up. And uh, and then we got, uh, you know, a couple games in. I played a couple games of Titanfall, Overwatch, um, and whatnot. We played some Bro Force and stuff. Uh, and a lot of it was just basically us just uh, sitting around uh, BSing and, and whatnot. And uh, then we went and ended the night by going to Sherry's Pies, which is not a surprise. Um, and so, yeah, now it begins day two. I got to get up, get a shower, because we're going to breakfast as a group this morning. So, let's, uh, let's get ready. So, uh, this is it. This is. It's it a German like thing. Like so that's pretty much my day in a nutshell. <laughs> Doing Titanfall. She's streaming. I'm sure. I'm not having something more fun now. Yeah. They're awesome. I'm putting by the small bag. No, that's just show. Advertisement in my video. <laughs> Josh is talking about fractal things. Uh, the other table is like way the hell down there. We'll get down there later. Show up your periscope, especially when people are filming you. But anyway, so here at PDX Land, um, you can see behind me here, about 500, 550 people here. So, anyway, the whole reason behind this is going to be a really short pair of periscope on the climbing sea that I brought, so I'm going to switch over to the eye candy. Okay, so first off, there is the nice 28-inch uh, 4K IPS panel that uh, Puget Systems was nice enough to bring down for me, Houston, and Puget brought it down. So I'll uh, check them out there, they did stuff. And over here is the Define Mini C. So, uh, what I have in mind is I have a Kelvin unit, obviously a Kelvin S24. Focus, focus. Hey, what's up, NF? Um, we got two Venturis on the back, it's just in pull. And I've got a, uh, cool, I'm glad you like this, this review. I've got a uh, single GTX 980. I didn't want to bring my two 1080s. Uh, using the Puget Systems uh, card keeper to prevent GPU sag. The, uh, the cables right here, I uh, forget to focus. There we go. Those are by InSource, E-N-S-O-U-R-C-E-D. Uh, I really recommend them, I like them a lot. There's a great job, there's some more up there. And then if you see way up in the top, we got an eight pin. So uh, down here, what we have, thank you. And honestly, I did not do crap for the cable management. The case makes it pretty easy. All the marketing DS aside, honestly, it made it really, really easy. Uh, down here, you have your full-length PSU shroud. And again, here I think I'll just take the side panel. You guys see it a little bit better. If I can do this without it like, falling on me. My lovely assistant self-processing. Uh, so I apologize for the whiteout lights there. 
Um, but it does have Whoa. a seat inside, so whenever this thing wants to focus, you have your PSG oh shroud here, which doesn't focus, doesn't focus. Okay, runs a full length, it is metal, you have your pop-out uh, panel right up there. What that does, that allows you to run taller like, radiators, basically you can do like a taller radiator, you can do 280, that's 240, it's in there right now. Down below it, you have uh, a two-slot drive Whoa. cage, holds your two three and a half inch drives or two two Just and a half inch in. drives. You can either leave it where it's mounted, you can slide it back because it's basically got slots. So much better in person. Thank you, Lodge Gear. So you can slide it back. Um, yeah, you like that, John? So, yep, I got that going in as I called out. Thank you again for the monitor. Really appreciate it. And basically what you have below is uh, your shroud, the cage can move back or it can be fully removed. If you remove it, there's still a mount in the bottom for a three and a half inch drive and you can still use your you know, uh, vibration and dampening mounts on it. Uh, and we said like, you know, the AIO coolers, they all look ugly. Yeah, I, I, I see what you're saying. I see, I, normally I wouldn't leave the tubing this long, but with the Kelvin, basically it's got standard G1 quarter fittings on it. So you can swap that out. You can put different tubes in, different lengths. You can even, you know, hard line tube. I've seen people do that. So again, however you want to do it. Uh, the case itself though, honestly, is pretty optional. Is the optional filter on top included or sold separately? It is included. It comes with it. So what you'll see is when you get the case, you'll have the Maji vent intact. It's got the Maji vent on it right now. Um, and then the, the fan filter will be basically magnetically adhered to the back of the motherboard plate. Uh, another thing that you can notice too is that Kind of in here, it does have the case bump out like it had before. Now, one thing that might not get touched on in reviews, I don't know if you can see it. Okay. I realize you're about half an inch from a Venturi, so if you can hear it, that's why. But back there where the cables come through, it's hard to see, but there's kind of like an S bend. So like it kind of comes like the case goes like this, down, and then out. And then we're on that S bend, that's where the grommets are. Now, the benefit of that is that, so if you look at this one, I have that ugly, you know, Wait, you can't even hear the Venturi? Okay, good. So what I have is that ugly, you know, USB 3.0 front panel connector. So since it's vertical, if this is just a side mount where you can only bring your cables out from the side, you have to come out, bend back, and then go back in if you think a huge pain in the ass. Or alternatively, if you have one of these and it's facing forward and you have only a straight outcoming port, you're just gonna have to come out and do a like a 90 degree bend or 180 degree bend, big pain in the ass. So with this, the way the grommet goes across both surfaces, it either comes straight out of the grommet or you can come towards the window from the grommet, whichever works best. And like, I don't know if you can see it down here, but like, yeah, it's really hard to see. But basically, the, uh, the SATA connector is right behind the graphics card. If it came out normally where it comes up straight out from the grommet, I wouldn't even be able to mount it behind the graphics card.
Slaps came out with a new case. It's called Bullet. Who's, who knows? Yeah. So it's an ITX case. What I like about it is it shows off the video card on the side. So it shows, and this is the back. It's all wrapped in plastic. It's brand new. These are about $2. They're extremely nice. Made out of that aluminum set. <laughs> Georgia? Yeah. So when they were doing the whole grab start giveaway about the earth distance, I didn't have I mean, any of it. I was like, you know, in my mind, I'm like, I'm waiting to hear completely all right. I'm pretty sure I'm probably this half. Like, grab me and say, hey, what makes you think I'm captured any audio? What makes you think I'm captured any audio? I made a trip out of it, so I basically took a voiceover. Yeah. 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 It sounds like we might be going to PDX next year. I'm still kind of up in the clouds. I'm not 100% yet because I have a move coming up this year and I don't know how much of the income that's going to spend, what's going to be entailed there and whatnot. So it might be rough. I might have to skip a year. But if you've never been to a land before, I highly, highly encourage it. It's a very unique, interesting experience. It's not like going to like PlayStation Experience or um, E3, for instance. I've been to E3s before, and it's not the same thing. It's a very personal thing between you and a lot of other people, a lot of other gamers and stuff. And I think it's a really cool thing to do. And a lot of these people that I had in a video that I met up with and stuff like that, um, I consider almost like family. So I look forward to seeing these people like all the time. And um, when I'm away, sometimes I have our time because I feel like they understand me more than those that I would consider also close to me. So... Anyways, if you guys liked the video, give me a thumbs up. If you disliked it, give me a thumbs down. Uh, write any comments down below. And I want to give a personal thanks to Josh for helping me get there this year because without him. And also like uh, Ken and um, and uh, all the other guys in the uh, Derp Squad. So, um, guys, thank you very much. You guys helped me out immensely this year. You have no idea. And I'll see you guys hopefully next year. So, later.